Hi, this is Vivian Savile. I'm a naturopath and nurse and I'm here to talk today about the metabolic syndrome and polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS. Um, we're going to be speaking about treating insulin resistance and its related health problems. So what is the relationship between metabolic syndrome and polycystic ovary syndrome? Well basically the key to both of these disorders is that they both um, are related to insulin resistance. So let's start by looking at what is metabolic syndrome. So it is a disorder that is a pre-diabetic or a pre-cardiovascular disease state. It's linked to the five um, main causes of death in the US and other developed countries. It's diagnosed by a cluster of five cardiovascular risk factors which we'll have a look at in a little while. Um, it's a disorder that is due to diet and lifestyle and its risk factors are basically related to obesity, high carb diet and the insulin resistance. So we have a situation where excess fat is leading to degenerative disease. So insulin resistance. When we have insulin resistance, the cells become resistant to the effects of insulin. So keep in mind every time you eat something that's a carbohydrate food, whether it be a good carbohydrate such as vegetables or fruit, um, or whether it's one of the bad ones such as breads or pastas, the body basically has to produce insulin in order to process the glucose. So when you develop insulin resistance, basically what happens is the body then increases the fat deposition, which gives you more insulin resistance, which gives you increased fat deposition, and then you eat more of the car high carb foods, and you basically get on this whole roller coaster. So the brain interprets the insulin resistance as a deficiency, and then what happens is it produces more insulin, and this is known as hyperinsulinemia. So keep in mind that um, processed foods and refined foods, especially the carbohydrates, are the main culprits. So this diagram just um, indicates that insulin resistance is at the root cause of metabolic syndrome um, and also polycystic ovary syndrome. And the factors that give you the insulin resistance then are the high carb diet, lack of exercise, um, some of the drugs such as the corticosteroids, the effects of ageing and a genetic predisposition. Stress can also be a factor that produces glucose-based hormones. So metabolic syndrome, um, we have altered lipid levels, increased fat storage and increased abdominal obesity and this is particularly important and that in itself results then in polycystic ovary syndrome. The symptoms of polycystic ovary syndrome are acne, irregular menstrual period, hirsutism, hyperandrogenism, which is the, um, the male hormone such as testosterone, excess facial hair, infertility and stress. So metabolic syndrome and hyperinsulinemia, um, they're not just responsible for being a trigger of um, fertility problems. They can, um, can, however, add to problems in males as well as females. So they can produce the polycystic ovary syndrome, but they can also produce erectile dysfunction and male vertex baldness. As we said, they can contribute to cardiovascular problems such as stroke, angina, atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, heart disease and blood lipid irregularities. Um, type 2 diabetes is another problem related to metabolic syndrome and that can be linked to nephropathy, neuropathy, macular degeneration and foot ulcers. There's increased risk of different cancers, especially breast, colon and prostate cancers, increased risk of post-operative complications. The metabolic syndrome and hyperinsulinemia will also cause problems such as acne, skin tags um, and a telltale sign of um, insulin resistance on the back of the neck called acanthus nigricans. Raised blood pressure, inflammation, gout, sleep apnea and even Alzheimer's disease and type um, 3 diabetes as they're now calling it um, are related to this insulin resistance disorder. So how do you know if you're at risk of having um, insulin resistance 
and metabolic syndrome. So you can do the test at home where you can calculate your BMI by measuring your height in metres and then you square it and then you divide your weight in kilos by your height squared. So you'll come up with a number something like the one on the page here, 24.24 and then what you do is have a look at the score. So if you're underweight your BMI will be 18.5, healthy weight 18.5 to 25, overweight 25 to 30, obese 30 to 40 and 40 to um, and over is severely obese. But this reading alone doesn't give us a diagnosis of metabolic syndrome. To diagnose yourself for metabolic syndrome please look at, this, at the um, five diagnostic markers below. Now the first one that you need to look at is do you have central obesity that means around the stomach so a waist 102 centimeters in males or 40 inches or in females 86 inches or 30 sorry 88 centimeters or 36 inches. So that's the main criteria and then if you have <coughs> two of the other two written below then that gives you a diagnosis of metabolic syndrome. So hypertension, the blood pressure being equal to or over 130 on 85. Blood sugar levels greater than or equal to 6.1 millimoles per litre. Um, triglycerides being raised as in equal to or above 1.7 millimoles per litre. Or the good HDL cholesterol being too low. So as we've said there are enormous amount of disorders related to metabolic syndrome so we really don't want to live with this disorder because sooner or later it is going to bring chronic health disorders um, and if you're female and young in particular um, there is a you know a high risk of it triggering off polycystic ovary syndrome and subsequently infertility. But the good news is metabolic syndrome and the symptoms of polycystic ovaries are reversible. So treatment for polycystic ovary syndrome and the metabolic syndrome basically needs dietary changes, lifestyle changes, nutritional supplementation and herbal remedies and a few other different things. There are a lot of foods that will actually lower the insulin resistance, correct cholesterol levels, lower blood sugar, lower raised blood pressure. So it's just a matter of incorporating all of these different things into your diet. To find out how to avoid the metabolic syndrome, treat the symptoms of polycystic ovaries by correcting insulin resistance, um, how to prevent or treat the PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, heart disease and type 2 diabetes, um, you can find out more by going to my book How to Stop Metabolic Syndrome Naturally and you can find a lot more information about that by going to www.recipetohealth.com. So how to stop metabolic syndrome naturally. In there you're going to find a complete strategy um, treatment self-help guide if you like to um, get rid of the metabolic syndrome. So in there you're going to find 167 fat loss recipes. So not low fat recipes but uh, fat loss recipes as in to help you lose the excess body fat. You're going to find information about what tests to have done and what those tests mean how to diagnose the disorder, what natural treatments you can do at home um, and that includes different um, nutrients and also different herbal supplements which will very quickly um, help the body um, control glucose levels, cholesterol levels etc. Um, and what to do to correct insulin resistance and subsequently to correct the triggers of that polycystic ovary syndrome as well as the metabolic syndrome. So to find out more please go to the website so that's www.recipe2health.com. Thanks very much.